By the end of the 80s, the budget market had moved on from original titles and onto re-releases of older games, which required no additional costs. Codemasters were one of the labels still releasing original budget fare, and SAS is a great example. Taking cues from games like Commando and Green Beret, SAS tasks you to reach the end of each level that can scroll horizontally and vertically. Enemies appear on the periphery, allowing you some reaction time and tanks shoot in fixed directions. You have a gun and grenades to eliminate the opposition, and there are some power-ups littered about the place. Get to the end of the level and the game flips to a green beret style side on section where you need to shiv up enemies as they charge headlong at you. The screen is a little squashed with only two thirds of the screen available, but the sprites are small enough to never feel cramped. Graphics are perfectly fine and the scrolling is nice and smooth. The commando sections are nicely done with everything moving quickly and enough real estate to never feel like the game is unfair. There isn't a huge amount of variety, but it is fun, fast, and playable. The green beret side on sections are, unfortunately, poor with enemies running at you at different speeds and only a knife to protect you, which means you have no variety at all and it's no fun to play. Fortunately, these levels aren't particularly long, but the game would probably better off without them.
It seems that Codemasters were very much short of Amiga programmers, as this is another game that is nowhere near the quality of the 64 version. Graphic are very poor with ugly, glitchy sprites and poorly drawn backgrounds. There is a little more variety in the power-ups, but that's the only real positive. The killer here is the play area which is incredibly small, especially when you factor in the size of the sprites making avoiding enemies and bullets nigh impossible in places. The side-on levels are just as bad with some shockingly poor animation and fewer enemies to bother you. Add some laggy controls to the claustrophobic screen size and you have a game that is poor in every respect. Thumbs down.